the power. This back. What's up, family? It's Too Cool TB, representing Powered by Vibes. We're back with another episode of Artist Discovery. So today, we're doing the continuing march for Women's Appreciation Month. So we are going to check out another female artist. But it's a friend of the channel. Gen X has the coolest stage name of all time. I like that name. And uh, we did a review of a remix from last year. This is someone that they do electronic music and they do um, they do remixes. It's someone that does original music. And it's a song called Pathological Liar that was written about a pathological liar in 2001. It was reported performed with her Avent rock band called Chaos. I'm guessing that's how that's pronounced. So without any further ado, let's go into the video and we'll talk about it as we're watching it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. I had to redo it because my phone's on the I like how you got like the little radioactive symbol right there. That's pretty cool. Kind of explain so Advent's rock. If you're not up on different types of music like Advent Guard, like look up some Advent Guard music. Like I can't think of who it is. I think it's like it's a Philip Glass piece that's performed by like a classical vocalist. And like it puts me in mind of something like that. Just Dance break. What? 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 That's a logic go liar. You always find a way to put a truth on the wire. Tell me you're not hitting your own wire. Fire. Then what time I like the video actually. The video is pretty dope. I like the colors. Oh, the logic go liar. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's actually put some pretty cool you little vocal sounds in there, though. Little background effects. That's pretty relevant. Okay. A pretty abrupt ending. Baby, anyway, I like this. So good work, good work. All right. So now we'll go to the review section. So let's start off with the first reactions. So I heard this one before actually, and the first time I heard it, I loved it. Made me smile. It was so much fun. Really fun to listen to. And, you know, it's what it is, as I was saying while we while it was rolling, is that I can't, I tried to Google it. I couldn't find the singer's name, but there's like an avant garde classical singer that makes stuff like this that this reminded me of. Like, she has stuff where she's like a giant stomping through New York City or whatever and all this crazy stuff. And it kind of puts me in the mind of that. So. That's pretty cool. I think for an avant garde, like an avant rock, <coughs> excuse me, piece like this, I think that this is pretty cool. I like how it's about a subject, a pathological liar, and it was written along like 21 years ago at this point. 
and you know you're bringing it back today and it still has relevance you know you talk about you spent 10 hours chatting online but you don't be on the phone I gotta make sure I edit the little disco ball and auto tune for that part. <laughs> but yeah, like it's I like that. It's pretty cool. The lyrics are relevant. You know, it's cool how it's like it's very direct with whomever the person was. If this was a real person that you wrote the song about, it's pretty cool. The little electronic beat, I think it fits with it pretty well. Like the little it's pretty simple instrumental, but sometimes that's all you need. I've checked out other stuff that you've done and I see like that's kind of your style. And yeah, that was what my reaction was to this. There's definitely a lane for this, you know? Like, you just... The thing is, I understand this might not be for everybody because not everybody will understand a piece like this. But, you know, for me, you know, I enjoy it because of the fact that I was a collegiate musician and I studied avant-garde music and I also did a lot of, like, avant-garde jazz. So, to me, like, I, I appreciate this type of stuff, you know? And it... And you have to appreciate it in a different way than you would something that has more contemporary of a sound to it. So I like it. So good work. That's my reaction to it. So now we're going to go to everyone's favorite part of the review and the most painful part for me to do because I'm always like kind of apprehensive, mostly because of what other people say about what I say on this part, not so much the artists. Artists always understand. But we're going to go to the critique section of the review. So if you watch my videos before, there's really no surprise where I'm going to start because I literally start here with every single time I have critiques. We're going to critique the vocals of it a little bit. So that's what I was going to say for the vocals. There's two things that I would say. One is related to the actual performance and the second one is actually more related to the mix. So the first one for the actual performance, like if I wish I could figure out the name of that singer I was talking about. I mean, why, we, why don't we talk about some more, like, well-known, because they're not necessarily um, classical, but they're still, like, avant-garde. You could put it into the mind of, like, Bjork or, uh, like, Yoko Ono from back in the day. I think she still makes music, like, even recently. And I was going to say with the performance of a song like this, in my opinion, I just felt like the singing of it was a little bit timid. It's like one of those things where, like, you're trying to pretend to yell, like pretend you're mad about something, but you really aren't, so it doesn't fully come out. And I think kind of for <clears throat> avant-garde music like this, so like we like an avant rock song, I just felt like it sounded a little bit too timid for me personally. I would have liked it more if like for a lot of these lyrics, if you would have just let it go, like you just would have actually screamed and shouted on it, and I think that would have sold it a little bit harder. So, so that's my only critique with the vocals. It's just that I just I felt like it was a little bit timid, but I think it I think it was pretty good. Other than that, dog, you definitely like you could tell you I could tell you had fun when you were making it. So it so that's the only thing I would say. You know, for for next time or if you ever perform this song again, you know, just to I don't know maybe take a maybe either if you like. One of the singers that I've worked with, take a few shots of whiskey if you're, before you sing it. <laughs> That'll loosen you up. Or if you're like me, go and drink a whole bunch of caffeine before you do it. <laughs> that's my trick. So that's my critique for that, for the first one. The second one has more to do with the mix. I just felt like in the mix, it was a little too quiet and there's a little bit too much of the reverb and delay. And I couldn't really hear what you were saying clearly for some of it. So I would say just in the mix, like, you could keep the reverb and delay, but maybe just, like, turn it down a little bit and bring the dry vocals up a little bit so we could hear the words a little bit better. So, yeah, that's the only real critiques I had for it. Um, I guess my subjective thing that I would say, because I always, sometimes I have critiques that are just my personal preference. The only subjective thing that I would say about it, I actually like the instrumental and think that it went well with it, but I think... Maybe you just could have had like a couple more sounds come in sometimes, you know, and like, but that's really all I got to say about that, you know, that's, but that's subjective. If I was the one producing it, I probably would have like, just like, like for the little dance break section, as, as I called it, I might add it like an extra sound in there, like a little like theremin or something, like a woo 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 woo. So I'm like, <laughs> cool. Well, that's all that I got right now for the critique section of the review. So yeah, great work. 
So now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the video. We're gonna take this and rank it under Powered by Vibes. Boom! Chart! We're gonna see where this stacks up against other work that we've heard this year. Okay. Gen X Pathological Liar. This is honestly the part that is tough for me that I don't really like as much, especially early in the year like it is right now. There's only eight songs up here. And these songs are nothing alike because it's just, it's, you know what I mean? Like these are all different genres. But um, the other thing I forgot to say, my disclaimer about the billboard chart, there's not a chart that reflects the quality of the song. There's a chart of recommendations that will go out at the end of the year. By the way, check out 2021's chart on uh, thepowerisback.com and check it out. The top three were really, really good from last year. So that's what this is, just recommendations. It's definitely no offense because I this is a good piece and it's good work and everything. But just looking at only based upon how many things that we have so far and how hard it is to really compare them, I think I am just going to leave this one at number eight for now. Now, at the end of the year, there's going to be 50 songs on here and if you're within the top 10, that's pretty good. So... Like I said, don't take any offense to that whatsoever, but it's just, it's tough for me to really move it right now above any of the other songs because of the fact that it's so different. And if I'm thinking of this in terms of a chart of recommendations, it's a bit difficult for me to really move it above the other seven that are all a little bit more contemporary sounding songs because it's... It's just, you know, like this is something that is definitely more of an acquired taste for people, like a, a sound and style like this. So I'm going to leave it at number eight for now. But it's going to definitely move up and down as the year goes. So let's make sure you guys track that. I don't know, leave it in the comments below. Would it be neat if I like somehow find a way to have this be like live on thepowerisback.com? I don't know. I'll think about it because I'm just not sure how I would do that. Oh, well. Well, at this point, I'm rambling on. So let's take it back to my beautiful face and let's close this thing out. These are trying to be under 15 minutes this year. So great work. So to, to Gen X, if you're watching, but I know you will because you're, thank you for your support. I would say this is a great song. I like this. I can't wait to hear more original work from you. You know, I know this was for 2001 and, you know, I can't wait to hear, you know, things that you do now with the experience that you gain in that time. I think that everything that you're doing is really cool and you're doing a great job and it's just, um, just keep up the good work. You know, I definitely can't wait to hear that. And I do hope that, um, if you can put, you know, your band back together or a band back together, do more of this stuff live. Cause this definitely is really interesting and it's something, especially, um, in New York, where we are, and in New York City particularly, there are places where people, where like there's a community for this that is maybe a little bit more um, welcoming to this than uh, the average person might be. Like I know, like here where I am, like in Buffalo, like if you put this on at like Plaza Art House, like I think people will go crazy for it. You know, like somewhere like that, somewhere where it's more artsy. So really cool. So the Gen X, everybody watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed checking out this track and I hope that all of you did too. I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you and I will see you on the next review. The, 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 the power is back.